Sorry, Cover, Part 2. I'll quick it in general in deal by the Kedlar. Good morning and welcome to you all to the Part 2 Memorial on this, the 26th of August 2024. On the 26th of August 1892, 112 colliers were killed in an explosion which was to have a profound effect on families living in the villages surrounding this drift mine for many generations. And we are here this morning to remember, to remember individuals who were lost. The 112 who lost their lives in the explosion, but also to remember a way of life which we can only try to imagine a way of life with a thin dividing line between work and hunger, life and death. And when you look at this memorial, remember the 112 men and boys represented by the 112 stones which make up the memorial, killed here 132 years ago. Our short service of remembrance starts with an outline of the main event of that day in 1892, followed by a minute's silence. The date is August the 26th, 1892. The day dawns brightly and 150 men and boys are walking to their place of work, Park Slip Colliery, Abacente. They're walking from every direction, Kevin Pribble, Lalliston, Kenavai, Abacente, Tom D. Brinkethin and Coiti. Park Slip Colliery, with its very steep tunnel entrance, is, like many mines in the area, prone to the seepage of methane gas from the coal seams. Methane is very inflammable and liable to explode if the gas meets a naked light. Large engines pump fresh air into the mine to ensure that colliers can work safely. Each collier has a safety lamp, which gives just enough light to work with. The flame is surrounded by a wire gauze cover, which prevents gas and flame from meeting. At 6 a.m., the first men descend, sitting precariously on the spakes, the trucks, which take them underground into the deep darkness and their places of work. At the same time, there is a report in number 8 East workings of gas so mixed with air as to be an ex in an explosive condition. At a quarter to seven, 143 safety lamps have been given out and George Tout, lampman, reflects that about 20 men have gone to the St. Mary Hill Fair. 7 a.m. and the last of the men disappear underground and work starts at the different coal faces. Some near the slip entrance but some much deeper and nearly a mile away. An hour passes. It is now 8.15. 8.16 8.17 8.18 8.19 8.20 8.21 8.22 8.23 8.24 8.25 8.26 8.27 8.28 8.29 8.30 8.31 8.32 8.33 8.34 8.35 8.36 8.37 8.38 8.39 8.40 
17. 8, 18. And William Lydon is leading a horse with a line of drums into the gloomy, gassy number eight east. The lamp, with its weak light, has a damaged gauze. William has no idea. The explosion sent a ball of flame through every part of number eight range killing instantly the 28 men and boys working there. Dust, flame and smoke are hurled from the mouth of the slip as from a cannon's mouth. The earth shudders as if with an earthquake and the explosion is he heard from Koiki to Kentrick Hill. And underground another cloudy, deadly gas the sulfurous choke damp comes billowing from the depths. Thomas Thomas, 41. Evan Hopkins, 15. William Henry Strike, 32. David Daniels, 18. David Rhys Jones, 15. David Thomas, 15. Thomas Hopkins, 36. Charles Henry Nicholas, 18. William Edward Albert Humphrey, 21. Thomas William, 27. Evan E. Jones, 17. David Bowen, 46. David Harry, 30. John Rosser, 22. Thomas Hanford, 18. Edward Jones, John Lovell, 43, David Powell, 42, James Sam Davis, 53, John Harry, 
Thomas Baker, 40. Thomas Jacob, 18. Henry Hurley, 25. Charles Stenner, 39. David Hopkins, 15. David Jones, 14. William Lippin, 42. Thomas Taylor, 39. Thomas Reese, 14. Evan Walker, 15. Thomas Williams, 17. Thomas Stenner, 36. Tommy Lippin, 18. John Osborne, 30, sorry, 63. William Morris, 48. Richard Roberts, 41. William John Painter, 16. Henry Mitchell, 49. Arthur Martin, 42. Jenkin Jenkin, 35. Fred Robert Cockney, 22. John Barwick, 20. Morgan Morgan, 16. George Davis, 15. David Davis, 14. Richard Davis, 21. John Thomas, 57. Thomas Carter, 18. James Lidden, 13. George Henson, 22. Thomas Lukin, 16. Robert Webster, 41. Elijah Driscoll, 15. Philip Davis, 54. Joseph Painter, 19. Alfred Burroughs, 20. Evan Davis, 27. John Orchard, 42. Christopher Warren, 19. John Cattle, 26. Louis Morgan, 58. George Cotton, 40. George Jacob, 40. Herbert Lidden, 18. Benton Davis, 34. William Stenner, 35. John Driscoll, 21. John Sturgeon, 31. George Spencer, 39. Tadai and Rodi Rambo, our fathers, our brethren, forever. That concludes our service this morning. We all can bow down and bow and Lord. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Remember the 112 men and women. Now the cafe in the centre will be open for our refreshments. So many of us would like to walk back there and be very well. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all on police five tonight. <laughs>